Between Mont Ventoux, Lua Mountain, and the Luberon lies the Albion Plateau. It is famous for its colorful fields of lavender, the blue gold of Haute Provence. In order to flourish, this plant needs rocky ground, chalk, sunshine, and altitude. The lavender plant flowers from the end of June until early August. The flowers are used in essential oils, perfumes, and household products. Lavender works wonders in all sorts of ways. Jean Jolo, a writer from Provence, described the lavender of Haute Provence as the soul of Provence. All we have here are rocks. We have no water. We can't grow anything else. But this is the ideal terrain for lavender. It grows naturally here. This flower is our emblem. The whole of Provence is evoked by a few sprigs of lavender. Christine Fra is a lavender grower. Her family owns 150 hectares that are covered with the most noble of lavenders, the one that grows wild and has never been crossbred, fine lavender. We smell the lavender all the time. It's instinctive to us. We crush it gently and it gives up its scent. We taste it too because these calyxes are sweet. We love it. We delight in it every day. There's a variety that is blue. There's lavender that is almost white. Lavender that is a greenish color. There's a much bluer lavender. They're all different. There's navy blue, purple, violet, a grayish blue. That's what gives lavender its powerful scent and aromatherapy properties. Because you've got all sorts of different varieties, each with a different story to tell. And it can be a long and beautiful tale. <laughs> Lavender came to Provence 2,000 years ago. The Romans brought it here in their luggage. The ancient Greeks started using it for aromatherapy. I mean the real lavender, not a hybrid or cloned lavender. The Fra family's lavender farm has been organic since 1979. They harvest the heads of the flowers to make essential oils. In aromatherapy, the Fra's elixir works wonders for insomnia, headaches, wounds and sunstroke. It has almost infinite properties. I learned to grow it with my husband. You soon fall in love with it. It's our family jewel. <laughs> The love affair between the Fra family and Lavender began in 1916. This jewel has been passed on from generation to generation ever since. Christine's daughter, Marie Céline, works with her parents. Right. Um, I went to check on the Senison earlier. You mustn't cut them yet. The ones under the pine trees. Right. OK. Not before Monday. We've had this farm for five generations. We are continuing the tradition, our children are continuing it, and I hope my grandchildren will continue it too. For sure. It's in the genes. I think so, don't you? We were born into it. We were born in the stills, in fact. We were distilled. Yes, it runs in our family. It's been going on for a while. It has, yes. It's our passion. Summertime, when the lavender plants are in bloom, is harvest time. It's a rather special three or four weeks. Uprooting the old plants that have run their course makes us sad. They were once beautiful, and we looked after them. They're like our daughters. They were our babies. We've looked after them for years. 
Donc, we rotate the crops to give the soil plenty of time to replenish. Then we start sowing again. And after the fifth year, we harvest the flowers. The lavender is definitely at risk from climate change. You can hear the cicadas. There were no cicadas here 35 years ago. We are 1,100 meters above sea level here, and you never used to get cicadas. Now there are cicadas, and the oak trees and ancient old beech trees are dying. What with the frost and the drought, it's terrible. Every winter we used to get snow which covered the lavender and protected it from the worst of the frost. But now we don't get snow anymore, so the plants have to adapt. But we still get the frost. When the snow melted, it replenished the groundwater. Now, if you dig down a meter, the subsoil is dry. It's dry as a bone. We live here, and we see the effects of climate change every day. The lavender is trying to adapt. Yes, it's trying, and we're going to try to keep our country blue. Lavender is the only crop that will grow on this infertile soil. Christine's husband, Lionel, is determined to do everything possible to preserve it. How many did you do? We did five. Five? Thank you. Living a life surrounded by blue, having been born into a sea of blue, is wonderful. I won't be made to go elsewhere, I won't. Lots of people are attached where they're born. But my attachment's even stronger because I work the land. Every morning, I wake up and smell the lavender. I hear the bees gathering pollen. It feels heavenly to get up in the morning and throw the windows wide open. Life's a bed of lavender. Yes, life is a bed of lavender. The Fra family aren't the only ones luxuriating in blue. In Provence, over 9,000 people work in the industry. Their work contributes to the region's prosperity and to France's influence abroad. It will take commitment, perseverance and faith to protect our environment so that the Earth can continue to be known as the Blue Planet for a long time to come.